Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss profit and loss. So first, let us define what is profit. It is the amount left from the revenue after all costs or expenses had been deducted. Loss, it is what occurred when the costs and expenses exceed the revenue or sales. So how to compute the profit and loss? So using the formula, so the revenue minus the cost. And take note, if the result is a profit, uh, the result of a profit if it's positive and loss, it is negative. So how to compute the profit? Okay. So how to compute the profit or the loss? So using the formula revenue minus cost. And take note, the result is a profit if it is positive and lost if it is negative. So let uh let us answer this problem number 1. Nidali bought a bag of eight, for 800 pesos. She spent 50 pesos for transportation in going to the store. For the following independent cases, determine whether she earned a profit or incurred a loss. Determine how much her profit or loss and how much is the profit percent. So, letter A, she sold the bag for 1,000 pesos and letter B, she sold the bag for 700 pesos. So first, so let us uh, answer if she sold the bag for 1,000 pesos. So what are the given values? So first is the cost of the sales, which is 800 pesos, and the transportation expense, 50 pesos, and the sales is 1,000 pesos. So ito yung revenue, okay? And then we're going to find or solve the net profit or the net loss. So using the uh, formula a while ago, we are going to add first uh, the expenses, the cost of the sales and the expenses. 800 plus 50, that is 850. So to compute the net profit or the net loss, revenue minus cost. So your revenue, that is the sales, 1,000. And then your cost, the total expenses. So, substitute 1,000 minus 850 pesos, the answer is 150. So, the profit is 150. So, profit kasi positive yung sagot. So, therefore, the net profit is 150 pesos. How about if the sales is 700? Okay, how about if the sales is 700? So, 800 plus 50, that is still 850. Then, applying the formula, so the revenue now is 700 pesos. So, 700 minus 850 pesos, the answer is negative 150. So, meaning, uh, that is the net loss. No? Negative 150, kasi negative yung sagot natin. So, ibig sabihin na lugi siya ng 150. So, kanina, kumita siya ng, uh, magkano yung kinita niya? From 850 plus uh, so 100, 150 also. So, kung 1,000 niya ibinenta yung bag, so kumita siya ng one, 150 pesos. Pero kapag ibibenta niya yung bag ng 700 pesos, so, lugi siya ng 150 pesos. So, the net loss is 150 pes 50 pesos. And now, let's solve the profit rate. Okay, so by using this formula, profit uh, over cost times 100. So, magkano yung profit kanina? So, that is 150, right? And the cost amount is 850. So, times 100. 150 divided by 850, so that will be what? What will be the answer here? So if we're going to divide and multiply it 100, so the answer is 0 0.1765 times 100. So the profit rate, so we are going to multiply, is 17.65%. That is for 
profit rate. So, paano naman sa uh, net loss rate? So, pwede rin yun yung kukunin natin. Next is the formula for selling price. Okay, so what are the formula to compute the selling price? If there is a profit, the formula is, so kung pro, may profit, so para makuha natin yung selling price, we just follow this formula, cost price times 1 plus the profit rate. And if there is a loss, the formula for selling price, cost price times 1 minus the profit rate. So, sundan lang natin yung formula. So, madali lang naman tandaan, kapag may profit, so, i-add lang natin 1 plus doon sa profit rate niya times the cost price. So, kapag loss, okay, so, magma-minus lang. 1 minus the profit rate times the cost price. So, for example, a dealer bought a car for 720,000 pesos. How much must he resell the car to be assured of a 20% profit? So, ano yung hinahanap natin? So, uh, binili niya yung car ng 720,000 pesos. Ngayon, gusto niya ibenta ng uh, naka, may nakapatong na 20% mula dun sa amount na binili niya. Okay? Dun sa 720,000, yun yung original amount. So, magkano ngayon ang ibibenta niya para um, assured niya na tumubo siya ng 20%. Okay, so let us uh, identify all the given values. So, the cost of the car is 720,000. And then the profit rate, so this is the profit rate, is 20%. And 20% in decimal, that is 0 0.20. So, we're going to find the selling price. Since profit rate, no? Okay? So, and then, ang susundin natin formula is this one. So, the cost times 1 plus the profit rate. So, is a substitute lang natin. So, the cost amount is 720,000 times the quantity of 1 plus, since yung profit rate natin is 20%, pag kinonvert natin into decimal, that is 0 0.20. So, 1 plus point, 0 0.20 is 1.20 multiplied to 720,000. The answer is 864,000. So, this selling price now is 864,000. So, ibig sabihin, ang i -bebe, uh, yung amount na pag binenta niya para assure, may assure na siya na 20, may 20% na tubo, Doon sa original na amount na 720,000, ibebenta niya ngayon yung car sa halagang 864,000. Another problem, Jenny bought a condominium unit for 5,150,000 uh, and sold it for 6,900,600. So, how much was the percent profit? So, ang hinahanap lang is yung profit rate. So, what are the given? The total cost of the condominium is 5,150,000 and the selling price is 6,900,600. So, from 5, mula sa price na ito, so, binenta niya ng 6,900,600. So, ang tinatanong magkano yung uh, profit rate. Okay, so using the formula, so first, kunin muna natin yung profit natin. Yung, so that's revenue minus the cost. So yung revenue natin is 6,900,600 minus 5,150,000. And the uh, profit amount is 1,750,600. Kumbaga class, Mula dito sa 5,150,000. So, ito yung uh, kinita niya nung nabenta niya yung kondo ng 6,900,600. So, ito na yung kita niya. So, ang tinatanong kasi, how much was the percent profit? So, yun ang tinatanong. Since using this formula, okay, the profit rate, so profit, over cost times 100. So, yung profit natin, substitute lang natin, which is 1,750,600 
of all over the amount of the cost which is 5 billion 150,000 times 100 so that is 0 0.3399 times 100 the answer is 33.99 percent so the profit rate is 33.99 percent okay special mention for to Miss GN Arcondes. So, thank you for allowing us to use your PowerPoint presentation. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.